It's Christmas Eve and I am at home again, but we're gonna make the most of it and make some cookies. This will be my 199th video for the year of 2020. So I started filming about exactly a year ago and the first um, recipe I did was banana mochi cake and everybody loved it. So I just kind of through the years looked at some favorite recipes of cookies, desserts, or even protein meals that I could feed the family and just kind of captured it on video just to show and have some fun with this since most of the year I've stayed at home and just cared for the kids and the family. So today's cookie mix is gonna be easy 50-50 red velvet crinkle cookies. Doesn't that sound delicious? And for sure this is an easy one. I know some of them can be a little bit complicated like I um, uploaded pecan, Filipino pecan tarts, um, some bibinka, um, just various stuff. Yesterday I uploaded uh, thumbprint cookies. That one was on the easy side. And then so this one I'm going to make easy for us. So this is an easy 50-50 red velvet crinkle cookies. And the other 50 is not bacon because <laughs> we associate 50-50 mix with uh, bacon. but. It's just a vanilla and a red velvet mixed together. And they're really, really pretty cookies and they turn out pretty nice. They're big, they're really tasty, and they're easy to make. So here it goes, one box red velvet mix. So you don't even have to worry about messing with the red velvet dye or messing with cocoa this time because I've made plenty red velvet in the past, but I had to mess with the red velvet dye and the cocoa powder, but we are gonna make these easy and foolproof so this is the red velvet mix and this is just a standard box 15.25 ounces okay so one box of red velvet mix one box of super moist french vanilla cake mix okay so this is also 15.25 so these are the standard sizes over here so just one box of that you got your four eggs Okay, so I got my four eggs here. And then 12 tablespoons of butter. So here is six in this bowl and six in that bowl. And believe it or not, that's all you need. That's all you need. One box red velvet mix, one box vanilla mix, four eggs, and two tablespoons butter. So I'm going to split the eggs in half, and then I'm also going to split the butter in half. So here we go. So go ahead and and some of this too just in case that the batter starts sticking to your gloves or hands. Okay so a box of this and you can also sprinkle the cookies at the end with this. All right so I'm just gonna go ahead and pan the camera towards the mix here, the mixing bowls. Okay, here we go. We're gonna dump our cake mixes into the bowls. Here we go. Here we'll start with dumping the vanilla mix into the bowl. And then we'll dump our red velvet mix into the other bowl. Okay. right there. Second bowl, two eggs. Okay. And then the final ingredient, the butter. And dump that in. Into the first bowl. And then dump in 
mix six tablespoons of butter into the second bowl. All right, so all the ingredients are in their respective bowls. So the next duty for me is to mix up each bowl. So cover your ears, okay? Because I'm gonna be mixing up these bowls. Here we go. So the second bowl we're going to do, so you see how this turns out really, really pretty, the red velvet. Okay, let me just wipe this down a bit. Okay, so we got the first bowl for the cookie mix done. Now let's work on the second bowl. So here is the red velvet ready to get mixed up. Doesn't that look really, really pretty? It's such a deep red. And this is so easy. I feel like I'm cheating out myself and having to think about this recipe because it's so easy. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray down the tray here. Okay. And I'm gonna start to get to rolling. All right. So I'm also going to have, this is my bowl here for my powdered sugar, just in case my rolling gloves get sticky. This is a definitely a trick how to make these cookies less sticky. All right, so. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the white ones first and then roll some red ones. Okay. So I'm going to take my batter. So I could tell that the batter's sticky, so I really need some powdered sugar on my gloves. Otherwise, it won't be successful in rolling. So I powdered up my gloves. 
I'm gonna grab this sticky batter and then I'm just gonna go ahead and move it around like that. Okay, so that's one ball. All right, I'm gonna put the balls over here. Okay, another one. And here is, these are gonna be some big cookies. Okay, here's another white one. Here's another white one. This is a French vanilla flavor. Okay, another French vanilla. Another French vanilla. Okay, so for the purpose of just getting through this video, I'm going to roll the rest later when I'm off video just so that I can make this a little bit shorter. So now we're going to work on the red velvet. Okay, so. Everybody loves red velvet. I have so many friends that love, just love, love red velvet. So, and um, I don't mind giving it to them because I don't want to eat them all. <laughs> so I make the red velvet cake mix from the box, okay? And then I can make the red velvet from scratch. And that involves a lot, red velvet from scratch. Okay, so here, here is my red velvet. So I'm going to take the red velvet batter. And then I'm just going to move it around like that. There you go. All right. I can tell the red velvet sticky. Okay. Here's another one. There you go. velvet so the red velvet seems to be stickier than the French vanilla today but the solution works really really well so you kind of just rub your gloves in the powdered sugar and it helps really really keep them from sticking okay and there you go so I'm gonna mix it to those all right so this is the fun part this is what makes this cookie a 50-50 cookie. So I'm going to be putting the vanilla and the red velvet together. And you'll see it here. And that's what makes this a 50-50 crinkle cookie. Okay, so I'm going to take my vanilla. And then I'm going to take my red velvet. And then I'm going to push them together and roll them, tighten them up a little bit, and push it together. All right, and there you go. There is the first one. Okay, and I'm just going to lay it on my tray here. All right, so let's get another one. on the gloves so they're sticky. Okay, so I got my two here and then I'm just going to roll them together, merge them together. And like I said, these are going to be some huge, huge cookies. But I would say you could probably make 12 of them with these two boxes. All right, bring them together, roll them together. OK, 
Okay, luckily they're sticky enough that they will stick together when cooking. Okay, so here we go. We got our 50-50 look right there. It looks like a yin and a yang. Okay. Okay, so another 50-50 look. And then putting sugar on my gloves again. It's so sticky. And then we're going to merge these last two. So I kind of squeeze them together. And believe me, they'll stay together because they're so sticky. And then just kind of roll them. And there you go. It's like a yin and a yang cookie again. So we'll see how those turn out. So I'm going to set my oven for 350, preheat that 350, and then I'm going to leave them in for about 20 minutes after the oven is preheated. Okay. All right. So did you follow along well? <laughs> I hope I didn't go too fast, but um, that was one box of red velvet mix one box of vanilla mix, four eggs, 12 tablespoons of butter, and that's all you need. It's the easiest 50-50 red velvet and vanilla crinkle cookie that you could ever, ever make. Just remember those um, kind of hints on what to do to get them cooking right. All right, so I have a surprise for you. I already had made some um, earlier because I have a uh, I'm not seeing a lot of people for Christmas, but I'm, I'm doing some drop-offs, so... Um, babe, can you open the door for me? All right. Oh, it looks like it's... Uh, it's it looks like it's kind of... Oh, it's drizzling out. All right, so this is what we're going to do. The lighting is, uh, The lighting is okay here. But I had planned to show you the cookies um, at my bistro table that I set outside. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you out here where I'm covered. I wanted to do something different today. I didn't want to go in mom's corner. So I'll just show you over here, but not in the rain. Okay, so here we go. These cookies are so yummy. And remember... I mentioned that they are huge. So here we go. So I already cooked some this morning and these, these actually were ones that my um, daughter shaped because I wanted her to learn how to cook them. So which, which just, let's just look at them. All right, so here is cookie number one. Okay, and the bottom is round and definitely a little bit stiff. And these were in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. Okay, here's another one. So you saw how I merged them together. So of course this one, um, same idea, what I did with these this morning. And this one is a huge one. <laughs> I don't know how it came out so big, but it's a really pretty cookie, especially for Christmas. I hope I could get these to my family and friends. You're staying home today. This is Christmas Eve. Here is one that looks more yin and yang-ish. And then the bottom is really nice also. Here is one that the vanilla kind of took over the cookie instead of the red velvet. The red velvet stayed mostly at the bottom. Here is one that looks like a red crescent over the vanilla. <laughs> so they all are, what I try to say is no, no cookie is perfect. You just got to do what you got to do and hopefully they turn out, you know, decent. Okay. Probably show you one more. Let's see. Okay. I, I 
I think I didn't show you this one. I'm not sure, there's so many. I probably would say that's about 15 cookies that this can make with two boxes of cake batter. And so these cookies are crinkle cookies, so they're kind of chewy and, and cakey at the same time, but they're very, very yummy. People just love them. And if you buy a, a box or two, you could probably find a box of red velvet for $1.50 and vanilla for $1.50. So that's $3 and you add the butter and the eggs. So for, um, I don't know, 15 cookies, that's less than $5. You just have to have the patience and time to put into it. So here I did, I packaged them up for Christmas. So I have two in here. Okay. And here's another one I packaged up and then people will think that you paid somebody to make it for you because <laughs> they look like they look like like they came from the bakery but you know you could do this at home that's why I like to show how easy these things are to do at home and you're probably spending like a fraction of what it really costs to go to the store and get a crinkle cookie from the bakery but um, isn't that nice? There you go. So well, thank you for watching. I'll just review the recipe one more time and then you go. So that, this is my 199th cooking video. My gosh. So I'm, I'm trying to think of what to make for my 200th video and um, something special. But so that was an easy, easy 50-50 red velvet crinkle cookie one box red velvet mix, one box vanilla mix, four eggs, and 12 tablespoons of butter. So of course, split the eggs in half and split the butter in half and just add it to the mix and roll them. That's probably the easiest crinkle cookie or cookie that you'll ever, ever have to make. So one last look. All right. Well, thank you for listening. I hope that you try it and let me know how it goes for you. Take care.